Ever wonder why some trades go terribly wrong? Well, let's hear from Ben on his most recent manual trade blunder and see if he learned any lessons. Ben, tell us what happened. What did you do? All right, so there's a bit of a story behind this. I was looking at the VIX all summer long, and I remember this very clearly because I was about to go on vacation with my family in August. And I thought to myself, okay, the VIX is starting to pop here a little bit. We're above $15. I really think this thing is going to fly. And I think it was, honestly, I think it was July 30th or July 31st, these two days right here, that I wanted to buy calls. I decided not to. I don't know why I decided not to. I don't remember. But then as soon as I decided not to, bam, I had a chance to 10x my cash in just a few days. So that that really pissed me off. Um, <laughs> I really, really wanted that trade. So as soon as I saw the VIX drop back down and I saw it, it towards the end of August, I wanted a revenge trade, right? Yep. I wanted I wanted to get back in here. So I thought, okay, well, the VIX just saw a huge pop and then we just tumbled right back down to where we were previously, right around $15. I bought puts at $15 with an October 20-something. It just expired last Friday, whatever date that was. Um, but I, I bought... I bought about 10 puts. No, sorry, I bought 100 puts. Um, <laughs> and uh, as we can see, as soon as we crossed over into September, bam, we got, we got another little pop there. Came back down to $15, but ultimately, coming up to last Friday, uh, it expired out of the money. So those puts were essentially worthless. Lost my entire investment, all because I wanted to make a revenge trade and, and get back at myself for not placing for a trade earlier this year. Not, so, not the way to let your emotion take over and uh, cause you to make foolish decisions. Yeah. sounds like you needed peak bot, Ben. You wanted to make a trade, probably got distracted with life, ended up not taking the trade, regretted it, got angry, revenge trade, classic, classic move. Don't revenge trade. Emotions, keep Not emotions out of it. Come on, we know better, right? We 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 have an automated trading platform, but I get it. You can't help yourself. You see some opportunities, emotions get involved. That's okay. Could have used PeakBot. You Should will next time. That. Lesson learned. If you want to get started automating your portfolio, just go to usepeakbot.com. Hands-free trading, super simple. Twenty-nine dollars a month. See you at the peak.